Good afternoon. Welcome to the Midday Mull for Thursday, the 31st of October. With McShane, we reached the end of Psalm 119, and a couple of thoughts struck me as I was reading through the section for today. In verse 162, the psalmist writes, I rejoice in your promise like one who finds great spoil. And that is so true of Scripture that as we read through it, it's like you stumble across treasure. You find verses that just leap out of the text at you. And there's an, a, a word of promise. There's an encouragement. There's a direction. There's, there's some kind of warning. And Scripture's alive. And there's so much in it. And as we read through it, we pray, God, open our eyes that we may behold wonders in your law. And they're there. And as we read it through, it's like finding treasure. Um, and we need to recognize that take the treasure and make it part of our lives. A few verses later, this is given a, a, another context. Where it says, great peace have those who love your law, and nothing can make them stumble. Surely that's one of the treasures, that if we have God's law, we have peace. And as the world around about us seems to be in turmoil, and everybody's rushing this way and that, and there's so many people who are desperate, who are worried, who are anxious, who are all these other burdens that they carry. And we can say, if we hold on to God's law and we trust in God's word and we, we stand with God and we follow it and we say, we know where we're going and the values we stand for, then we can say we find peace. And that's what we do in God's law, in the word of God. As we hang on to it, there is great peace for, for us. And then two verses later, uh, the, the psalmist says, I obey your statutes, for I love them greatly. And that has to be the way we do things. It's not that I obey your statutes, therefore they have value. It's the other way around. I love your, your, your word. I love your statutes. I, I, I recognize the value of what you're telling us in Scripture, Lord. The, the direction, the, the, the warnings, the commands, all of those things. There's great value in them. That's why I, I obey them. It's because they're good, <laughs> because I find peace in them, because there's treasure there. That's why I obey. And that has to be the way we do it. And anybody that comes on and says, the law says, and you've got to do that, you say, the law says, but find your, your passion, be become encouraged, become challenged, become enthralled by the word of God. And once that happens, obedience becomes so much easier. Because we're not just obeying, obeying a law. We, we know that what we're doing is for our good and for his glory. And so be encouraged as you read through scripture to, to pray to God, to wait and, and look for those, those uh, spoils, those treasures that we have there, that we find peace in it. And that because of that, we walk in his way and say, God, help us to be obedient to it. As we do that, we are blessed indeed.